The mutiny in Russia also put a question mark on the future of the Wagner Group. What will happen to their fighters and their chief? He's said to have gone to Belarus. What about his troops? Vladimir Putin has given Wagner soldiers three options. They can either join the Russian military or return to their families or take refuge in Belarus. So the Wagner group is far from being dead. In fact, reports say they're seeing a flurry of new joinings and some of them come from unexpected quarters. Youngsters from all the way from Nepal seem to be joining this group in Russia. Videos of young men from the Gorkha regiment training with modern weapons are doing the rounds on social media. They're said to be joining the Wagner group on contract. The question is, what has prompted the shift? Our next report explores. These are supposedly youngsters from Nepal, showing off their guns for TikTok videos, sharing a laugh with their colleagues and training intently to get battle ready. But which battle are they preparing for? The one being fought in Ukraine. These young men want to join Russia's Wagner group. Reports say Moscow is seeing a flurry of applications. And among those applying are youngsters from Nepal's Gorkha regiments. That's right, the famed Gorkha regiments. Known for their bravery, these youngsters are joining hands with Wagner. You may ask why? And the short answer is, for better opportunities. Think of the Wagner Group like a corporate company. They're looking to expand their operations and need manpower for it. In return, they offer good salaries and even advertise to recruit. Look at this ad, for example. It was posted on Twitter. It invites people to join the Wagner Group. And it's offering this, an honest salary of 240,000 rubles. That's about 2,700 euros, plus health and life insurance, as well as good bonuses for results. Now, for many of these youngsters and retirees, 2,700 euros is no small amount. Also, they get to fight the war with modern weapons. So many are said to have signed contracts like these to join the Wagner Group. Last month, President Putin also signed a decree. It offers Russian citizenship to those who sign up for one year of military service for Moscow. This is said to have opened the floodgates for Nepali youths. Other requirements like language have also been eased. Now, Nepal has long been a source of fighters for foreign armies. Nepali youths were part of the British army as far back as the 1800s. They were called the British Gorkhas. After India's independence, they became a key part of the Indian army. But recently, this relationship has been tested. Last year, the government of India announced a new recruitment scheme. It's called Agni Path or the Path of Fire. It offers four years of trainee service in the army and promises to retain only a quarter of these soldiers permanently, which means the remaining soldiers will have to return to civilian life. Nepal does not like the new scheme. It has protested. Last year, it paused the hiring for Indian Army's Gorkha Regiment in Nepal. New Delhi tried to reassure Kathmandu. We have been recruiting Gurkha soldiers, uh, you know, to the Indian Army for a long time. And we look forward to um, continuing to recruit Gurkha soldiers to the Indian Army under the Agnipat scheme. But the promises have not worked. So Nepal's youth is looking for alternatives. And in Russia's Wagner group, they see a compelling option. But remember, this is not an army. Its operations have been controversial and its future uncertain.